Yeah. Hey guys, it's me, Andre Salazar, and the first episode of What's Going Down episode of Yard of Comics. This is a going to be a weekly episode. This is more of a diary where I'm going to talk about what I'm doing, what I'm up to every week, what's going down. It's kind of like the What's Going Down episode of That's My Mama, where I play Joe the Policeman. If you know that reference, <laughs> please comment below. I'm going to give you a gold star for that, okay? What's Going Down episode of That's My Mama. Anyway, love that film. What have I been up to this week? Uh, tons of stuff. The big thing, of course, is uh, this beard. This failure of a beard. It is, uh, it's not working. I've got too much Mexican in me. I can't get this to connect. Look at this. Just not happening. I've been trying. This is like over a month. This is a lot. Ain't happening. I wanted a full beard for Comic-Con, so I would be the one guy that, that had, wait, no, everyone has beards. Yeah, I don't know what I wanted. It's not happening. Uh, so my beard. I'm also trying to lose some LBs. Um, so my day job does not allow me, afford me to do the cardio that I'm used to doing. And so I'm trying to get rid of those LBs, man. It is not easy. Uh, due to a, a dumb... <laughs> Netflix movie that me and my wife watched. I'm now going to be a, ve a vegetarian, vegan. And so I've been kind of cutting all the meat. I've been cutting a lot of dairy. And after about two and a half weeks, nothing. Zip. So I'm, uh, I'm not pleased with that. I'm kind of bummed out today. The scale did not was not friendly to me. So we got that as an issue. Uh, I am dealing with... Um, Trying to figure out the balance between eating right. And I'm not a junk guy. I do not drink sodas. I'll eat dessert rarely. But anyway, I just can't get down to my goal weight. Uh, this sounds like a Weight Watchers meeting suddenly. Anyway, I'm working on my beard. Working on my healthy living choices. Both in food and exercise. That's the big things. And then, of course, this YouTube channel. I mean, despite this being like episode four in total... This, um, this is a lot of work. <laughs> um, I had to upload the Kickstarter video three times because of the syncing was not synced up to the audio and the video. Evidently, while a phone or mobile device might say that this is a constant frame rate, it's not. Your frame rate of 24 or 30 or 60 frames per second is not constant. Therefore, you have to then put it in another software, make it a constant frame rate. So you got to convert it, then you got to convert it back into, you know, Adobe Premiere, export it, render it, all that stuff. Uh, and then YouTube is giving me issues. So I've had to do some of these videos twice. Um, the Bill Sienkiewicz video, which I'm really excited about. Uh, you see my big head through half of it because I'm like bending down below the camera to show the art. And you see my big old nappy head. So <laughs> so I had to do that over. Anyway, hopefully I'll start figuring this out. And I can just make my workflow nice. I got my whiteboard over there with my, like, columns of how to do things. So in theory, um, I'm going to get this done. So it's, like, nice and smooth. Anyway, that's taking a lot of time. The goal of this really was, let's just record and do stuff while I'm painting, while I'm working on comics. By the way, these are not just set up to show that I'm painting. I'm actually doing this today. I'm actually, I gotta varnish this guy. I gotta re-varnish that one, and then that one is a mess. I still have to work on it. So tonight, I'm gonna paint that. And I'd like to do a live stream, so hopefully, I got a little cheapy um, webcam. We're gonna give it a shot, see how bad the audio is, because I'm assuming it'll be pretty bad. And so I might record that um, kind of painting on that. So anyway, um, so yeah, I'm painting, as you can see, really getting ready for the big show in August, uh, excuse me, in July, which was August, for here at Ventura for the gallery. Um, the comic book stuff is all, I mean, it's done, of course. I do have to cut the pages and kind of frame things up, and I will 
do a video on setting up the gallery and the comic book stuff. So the comic book art is pretty much done. I have to do a little bit of prep. The big thing is getting some of these abstract paintings finished. Um, and a lot, most of them are done. I just have to do varnishing on a couple. I got to do the oil paintings. I got to let that dry a little bit more before I tinker with them. And then these two mixed media ones uh, I got to finish. I'm not happy with. I have a video actually of that too, which that reminds me, I got to finish that video. So I got a bunch of videos going on. Um, so yeah, making the videos, just doing the art. The idea is like showing me to do art so it doesn't take much time, but you know how things work. Uh, what am I up to? What else? I got my little list here of things. Um, I finished, I'm almost finished with the script. I got, I have the outline finished for the latest uh, Hidden Frequencies podcast episode that I'm writing. So I'll do another episode of that. If you've not listened to the Hidden Frequencies podcast, you got to do it. It's great. I'm one of many writers. They are half an hour, uh, Twilight Zone style, spooky, eerie, you know, twisty um, stories that it's all fully produced like a radio drama. So it's really, really well done. It's called Hidden Frequencies. One of my very closest friends of all time is the executive producer, Mick Winger. He's the voice of um, tons of stuff, including uh, Poe from the Kung Fu Panda TV show. Anyway, he's amazing. It's a great um, podcast, and I'm a writer. And so we're in season two now, and I'm, I wrote an episode, and I'm almost done with the script. You know, I've got the outline. I've got it all blocked out. Pretty much all the scenes are set up. I just need to do some of the dialogue. And for this, I'm doing kind of an old English, kind of a Shakespearean style. So I need to do some referencing and kind of really make sure that it sounds sounds good. So I got to do a little bit of that. So we got that going on, and then also have uh, the Natural State comic book I've been working on. I'm doing that as well. That one is actually um, I've done a lot of the art for it, but what I'm doing now is going back, kind of in reverse in a weird way. I've done a lot of art. But now I'm going back to the story and really hammering out those beats, those character beats, those setting beats. I broke it up into four chapters now. Each chapter is a year. So this is a story of a mother and a son after divorce moved from California to Arkansas in this trailer park called Shangri-La Estates. And I think actually the title is going to be Shangri-La Estates or something like that. It was going to be The Natural State which is the moniker for the state of Arkansas. But, which I do like that too. It's got some, some meaning behind that. So I'm not sure yet the title. Anyway, I've been working on that a lot. So working on my comic, working on this, um, this draft for the podcast, and of course these paintings getting ready for July. So I'm a busy bee. It's been a lot going on. Um, what have I been reading? Okay, I read this book this week last week um love and rockets three sisters and this is all of uh this is gabriel's gabriel hernandez's book and let me tell you this is so good i will do an episode just of love and rockets at one point i haven't read them all and honestly despite me being a chicano i haven't been into this until recently and um i picked this up and it is so good, and it is so sad, and rough, and raw, and mature. Not just mature because of the content, but like what they're trying to say. It is really, really good, and it's heavy. And I would say that um, if you're into heavy stuff, Go for it, because this is great. And the art is really, really, really spot. I love the art. If you don't want something as heavy, I would say pass on this, because this is a heavy book. But um, I like sad stuff, so <laughs> that's why I watch uh, French foreign films, things like that. Um, so that was great. I really, really liked that. Um, that was the big, the big comic book reading that I did. Uh, so as far as, like entertainment stuff besides the comic i've been um doing the game of thrones deal the books the a song of ice and fire so i've read the book i've read all the way through dance with dragons once 
I've listened to them on audiobook once, and now I'm listening to them again. And I'm in Clash of Kings, which is the second book. I'm just jamming through those hours at a, at a day. And um, I love that series so bad. I'm weird. I've not seen the show. I saw season one, a little bit of season two, but then I quit. I just couldn't hang with the HBO show, and I stopped. Especially when they started going beyond the books. I'm just like, okay, I'm over it. Because I love the book so much. I'm really weird about it. So I don't know what's going on, and I don't want to know. I kept myself pure and clean from all HBO Game of Thrones malarkey. Jon Snow is dead, as far as I'm concerned. He's dead, because he dies at the end of Dance of Dragons. I don't know nothing after that. So I don't know who gets the throne, none of that. Um, and I don't want to know. I'm waiting for Windsor Winter, dang it. So Windsor Winter's coming, and that's when I'm going to read the next bit. And uh, I'm excited about that. But I love the reading. I love, love George Martin's uh, story and his character and how he's just... It's really good, man. If you like the show... You've not read the books, and you're like, I'm intimidated, it's big. Dude, just go check it out. Audio book it if you have to. Go on Audible, get a free trial, get it. Very good. So I've been doing that. Uh, what else? Music-wise, uh, I got some Yes records uh, at, a, at a swap meet. So I've been listening to some Yes, uh, which is kind of weird. I just decided to get some. I love the art, so I'm really into the, the cover art on those, those LPs. Um, uh, Dean Rogers is that what it, Dean Rogers something like that I think so I'm digging that uh, and I've been listening to a lot of funk been listening to a lot of funk mm, honestly most of my music is coming from YouTube and from you know Spotify things like that there's a podcast I really like Jim My Foods uh, Skull Funk Radio I listen to that shout out to him that's a great show so I'm learning a little bit of funk getting into that Listen to my music, working on my beard, dropping the LBs, painting these sons of guns, and uh, hopefully we'll bake this all out this week. So that's my deal. Kind of a short video, short and sweet. Um, reading comics, making comics. What else is going on? I don't really know any news. Um, I don't know what's going on with the with outside the world. I'm just busy doing this kind of stuff. Tom King, I don't know. He was going to do 100 issues. Now he's not going to do 100 issues. I don't know. Stop at 85. I don't know. I don't know all the history. The, all the political stuff with DC, Marvel, and all that stuff. I, I read a little bit, like on you know Reddit. I hear a little bit of it, and uh, I try to figure it out. I, don't, I, don't, I try not to put too much into it. I don't know. Hopefully everyone's being able to work. That's all, That's all that matters to me. I'm watching some wrestling, though. I'm watching this AEW, man. I do like me some pro wrestling from back in the day when I lived in Arkansas. I grew up watching what's called Mid-South, which is that wrestling. I watched tons of that, got into wrestling, and I still watch that stupid show, and I love it. <laughs> I do love wrestling. So I've been watching some wrestling. And if you want, comment below. I'll talk wrestling. We'll do a whole episode just on wrestling. Uh, otherwise, we're going to keep it comics. We're going to keep it fun. We're going to keep it real. What's going down with me? Now, my question is, what's going down with you? Let's keep it real. Thanks, guys. Have a great week. And uh, subscribe, like, comment, put the bell icon, tell everybody about it, and uh, let me know what you guys are up to. Thanks, guys. Peace.